Hey, sorry about that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This could be my Scorps, okay? My love. My little Scorps, Scorps. My little Scorps, Scorps. I hope everyone's doing good. I hope everyone's doing good. Ooh, you guys got good energy. You guys got good energy. It's very, um... It's in and out, but it's good. Scorps, so I love February. Yeah, look at that, King of Fire. That girl is on fire. Or it's a man, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's that fire. It's that, it's whatever I was just feeling. But it's like, whoo, it's action taken. I love it. I love the action, the energy, the boost, the, it's something. It's And the reason why it's in and out is because you're looking towards the past. So something, and you're looking at my water. So something is very emotional. Well, it would make sense. You know, it's when it's hat on his sleeve, even though it's the king of fire. The hanged man. So it's. Changing your perspective. It's using your mind, body, and soul, every aspect of your being to get out of this emotional past. That's why it's in and out. The sun. The sun. The sun. What's this? Ooh, the calling. Yeah, see, this is hoo-wee. This is huge. This is huge. Wow, we made your arcana already. You have to change your how your thoughts of the past. Um, you're putting too much emotion into something right now. Oh, holy fucking, I'm just, whoa, whoa. Okay, now the high priestess. This is, I don't even know what to say. This is, um, I got the goosebumps and I don't even know what to say. This is remarkable. This is spiritual. This is overwhelming. This is a messenger of water. So this is somebody coming in too. About to express how they feel too. Oh man. What's at the bottom of the deck? Page of air. That's another messenger. That's somebody coming at you with the four of fire, with stability, with the page of fire, going to the queen of fire. This is like, you all had court couples today. Um, this is, this is huge. 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 I, I, The one that stuck to the bottom of the deck was the four of swords. It's healing. So it, it, it has to do with your past. This is somebody following their calling. This is somebody having the inner knowing that they have to let the past go to see growth. This is knowing that somebody loves you. This is knowing that somebody's watching you. This is knowing that somebody's coming in. This is just the freaking knowing. This is the knowing. It sounds like a... Like one of those haunting movies. Isn't there a movie called The Knowing? I'm sure it's not, it's definitely not linked. But this is... Whoa. You know. Like, I don't even have to read you for this month. You already know your situation. <sighs> Holy shit. You already know you have to let the past go. And this person... Because this is love. And this is a message of love. See, I don't even see another person. See how quick I was to be like in this person from your past? So you know. It's pain you're holding on to. Yeah, you've kind of healed. No, I think you have, actually. But you're still holding on to something. I wouldn't say it's petty. But you're holding on to something. But you still took action to let it go. 
There's been a lot of growth. You followed your calling, your destiny. Why? You followed your intuition. You knew. That's And now all of a sudden, you got a message of love. So it's like you took care of you. You followed your calling. And now here comes something new. You manifested it. You guys ever watch that show Manifest? It's almost like you're having premonitions. You're hearing, you're hearing, call, you might not even be hearing, you just, you got the inner knowing, holy shit. You just drained, this is all I'm done for the day, it just, you just sucked up my energy. It's not a bad thing, it's just, whoa, holy threw me off. In a good way, I mean, I mean, this is whoa, this is whoa, whoa. It's taken me somewhere. Holy shit. So overwhelming. Hold on, guys. I'm just sitting here a minute. It's very, very overwhelming energy. Holy shit. I don't even know if I can continue. Tell me about the call. The emperor. So you're dealing with somebody who's very disciplined. Somebody who... Who knows. Like... Taking the lead. It's powerful. I don't even think this is you. I don't even think this is you guys. This is somebody pursuing you. This is that love that's coming in. This is so crazy. But here's the deal. All these cards are you. It's you. It's the knowing. But this is that external energy. So they got strong score placed somewhere. You guys' energy is linked. Tell me about the hanged man. But this is you letting go of the past. It's the five of swords. See, you feel like it's a lose-lose. Because you're not changing your perspective with this person. Because this is, your energy is so spiritual that this is the other person or vice versa. You're not letting this go. There's love, but you're not letting it go. You gotta let it go. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Could be dealing with a Leo. Santa Monte. Oh, man. This is the protector of death. Like, this is... It's like you don't, you don't got a choice. But not in a bad way. It's not a bad thing at all. It's... It's protecting energy it's this this whole read this the whole month of february for my scorps you're being guided and you're allowing it it's beautiful it's like the rebirth is it a lose lose do i want it do i not want it oh is that change your perspective get get out of the past tell me about the sun Eight of Wands, this is a message. Sorry, it took me a minute. There's so many things going through my head right now. This is a message that you're going to get from this person. And I wanted this, the Four of Cups. I don't, I don't know if this person thinks they missed an opportunity. But they're, they're going to message you anyway. Tell me about the High Priestess. You already know. But here's the deal. You know. You know this. Four Pentacles, so it's like you kind of been holding on to this, but you're not. You weren't holding on to it the right way. It, it, it's, it's that releasing. I don't know if it's anger. It's the Wheel of Fortune. It's, it's like you don't have a choice. 
again, you have a choice, but you don't have a choice, if that makes sense. It's so damn spiritual. It's, it's like, it's going to happen no matter what. So don't, don't fight it. I don't see anyone fighting it. It's just, when you have all this major arcana that comes in and swipes in and takes over, it's like, it's very overwhelming. And now you got this message of love coming in and... It was just the way it was destined to go down. But you're holding on to stuff that needs to be released. Because what it's saying is that you could re not repeat the cycle in the same way, but like go back to like your old character or old habits. So don't do that. Because you have the inner knowing of what's happening. Tell me about this message of water. So be careful there, okay? I don't think they would allow it to happen anyway, but you just don't want to slip into old patterns. So this message of water is coming at you. That's that message. This person who's got a lot of love for you and vice versa. They kind of feel like they missed an opportunity. They kind of been watching you, but they're coming in anyway. Yeah, it's the two of pens. They're going to come in and try to ground the situation. What's this one? And the ten of wands. That's, that's the everyday... Every day, wait. You're not going to know what to really do. This person has been waiting on this person for a long time to come in and try to ground this situation is what that's saying to me. And at the bottom of the deck, you got the two of swords. You're going to have to make a choice with the king of cups. You're going to have to make a choice in the month of February whether or not you're going to give this person another chance. I feel like this is a second chance scenario. But don't get caught up in stuff where you're going to step into your old routine. I just felt the power come off of that as soon as I unveiled it again. This is like the unveiling. I don't know if some of you guys are making a movie. You're a movie director. There's something like that too. It's a beautiful read, but it's a powerful read. So breathe, meditate. I love you guys. All right. Bye, guys.